What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D. Two Wild checking in once again back with the banger today, guys, on a very special video. I mean, this is a big time video for this channel, and that is my very first SBR, and it's none other than the PSA Jackal. Now, guys, we're gonna do a one take shawty, one shot shawty, and we are clear. This hasn't been a minute. I want to say it's probably been two months since I initially showed you guys the PSA Jackal. And like I stated before, I'm gonna be just showing you this and talking about this straight through. I don't wanna do any type of edits or anything because it's been a minute. It's been about six days since I posted the last time on this channel. And uh, I've just been busy, man. But let it be known, there's plenty of content that's gonna be coming in and out through this channel in the next couple of days and weeks. I just got to get caught up and I wanted to drop this to give you guys a little, I would call it a tabletop, but I don't get no table but just a review and overlook of the PSA Jackal in the SBR format. Now the last PSA video I did, it got tons of views, tons of feedback, tons of support, and tons of questions. And I wanna answer as many questions as I can. We're gonna start from tip to butt on this whole entire gun, the whole entire process and all the above. I recently, you hear that ringing sound? That's from this muzzle device that a lot of people hate. Apparently after you shoot it a lot, it will go away. And this is not for sure or for certain, it's pretty much the same exact thing, but that I'm gonna keep this on this device. I've actually shot this already, this thing, this suppressor and all, my bad, it's not a suppressor, oppressor, oppressor, oppressor. Hopefully I didn't say suppressor, it's called the oppressor, Strike Industries oppressor. This is the Viper muzzle or a Viper flash hider and then this is the actual two different pieces that you gotta buy separately but are compatible with a blast can. I shot this on the Galil. I actually did a little video, I haven't dropped it yet. On the Galil, it was horrible, bro. It just made the fire and flames even worse. I thought it would reduce it even more. It made it even more apparent, it's unshootable on a Galil. I really don't have any issue or any like flames coming out of the Galil as is. I just wanted to see if it could even reduce it even more. This gun doesn't have any flames as is when I'm shooting it as well. I don't have any issues. I'm not seeing fire coming out of the barrel or any of that. But I would like to, you know, it would be the gun. I'm down to run it on this. I actually ordered some other devices on some nine millimeters just to test it out and see how it is. Because what this is supposed to do is actually give more of a blow straightforward than spreading out and lack of concussion and all that through the actual barrel being short. This is a 10.5 inch barrel, whereas the Galil was a 8.2 or 8.3. So hopefully that two inches gives us a little bit difference. If it also is spitting out flames, I'm gonna take this off and put the birdcage back on. I plan on getting a can. I'm actually waiting on a can. I'm about 130, 40 days of waiting of a can through e-form. So it's definitely already on the list. But actually get it out there and shoot. I'll do like a from the range video on this Jackal. We also have here the Streamlight, and this is the, I wanna say this is, yeah, this is the XLX rail mount, the ProTac, and this is like the large one. It's a little bit bigger. There's smaller ones, I went with a large one on this, cause I just wanna run it like that, you feel me? I have, um, I forgot the name of this brand. It's not even that, like, it's not very expensive. It's on, it was actually on Amazon, you feel me? But these are the canted 45 degrees. Is it like the arm in, it's like, uh, arm in it? It's arming it, but it's not Knight's arming it, but it's like arming it or something from Amazon, 45 degrees canted. It's pretty solid. I mean, I'm not, I don't plan on using these, but I went with these over the previous version on the video. You probably saw a, um, it was the Embus Magpul plastic joints. This is a, like, I don't know if it's steel, it's metal, it's a metal. I'll tell you that, it's metal. And I just kind of like that more, it's more fixed. And it's not really, you know, it doesn't really get in the way, but I have not, zero these in. I probably will zero these in on like 25 yards or something like that. We also have the touch pad, the stream touch pad here. I'm going to probably end up down the road putting a Surefire on here, but I think in the meantime, sooner than later, I'm going to add, um, I think it's called the Cloud Defense, where you can actually have a better mounting for this, because if I just do this, it probably would pop off, but I mean, I don't, this isn't my like main home defense gun or anything like that, but we do have the Streamlight light system going on, which is real nice and dandy. Then of course you have the Primary Arms LPVO. This is um, the one times six. And when I did the actual video, I actually had this, took it off and put a strike fire from Vortex on there. And it looked more like a, it was, it was, it was, it was nice. You know, I put that on there 
because I was having some issues hitting at 100 yards with this. But I think it was me. I just got to practice, and I want to practice more. 50, 75, I don't have no issues. Once I get to, like, to 100, it starts getting very tricky. But put this back on. This, along with two other guns, I'm going to be going to the range next week to the 100-yard range, and I'm going to practice all day long getting my shots together. I've hit 100. I'm hitting paper. I'm hitting paper. But my MOA is, like, maybe, like, four, four or five, and I want to get that thing down to, like, one. Two, you feel me? Groups, two inch groups and all that. I, I, I can do better. I just can do practice. That's just all I can do at the end of the day. But we have the LPVO on there. This rail, this cantilever is uh, by uh, Monstrum. It's not very, uh, very expensive, you know, piece or nothing like that. So just keep that in mind. It's a pretty overall budget. It's, 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 up, it's up there a little bit, but not too much. Nothing too crazy. Now, the stock. Finally, we can call this a stock and not a brace, right? This is a ACR stock by a company called Kinetic. PRS Kinetic, I think, or PTS Kinetic. Um, originally, the other one, the brace that you saw in the video, right? That was a Magpul stock that had this part, this little part right here, you could take this part off and then you could put on a tail hook adapter. But this part right here, the whole, the whole stock part of it was from Magpul. This one is from PTS Kinetic and it came all as a unit. So what I ended up doing was I took the other one off. The other tail hook that I have, I still have that. That's now on a Scorpion. I'm gonna show you guys an updated video on that very soon. But this is a Kinetic stock. This is a Haga Defense adapter, the 1913 adapter, which this goes on the back of the, uh, the ACR stock that then allows you to attach to the Jackal via P, uh, I said P. 1913 Picatinny uh, little rail in the back. So that's how it happens. Now, right now, I've been hearing and seeing that the Haga Defense has discontinued the adapter for the SCAR. I don't know, I'm thinking mainly because Magpul has also stopped making the ACR stock. They gone completely out of stock. This one right here I found, and I'm so happy that I bought it. Something told me not to buy it. I was like, do I buy it or do I just wait? I was like, I'll just wait. But I was like, nah, let me just buy it now because you never know. And that was a great decision because I ended up buying this. The Magpul is completely, you know, discontinued as far as I've seen. They don't restock them or nothing. This brand, they've been out of stock. Who knows if they'll bring them back. But I got it. And I also got the other one. And then the Haga Defense adapter. We don't know if it's coming back or not because they are seeming to discontinue that because of the fact that, you know, the Magpul is discontinued. They can't make much more money off of it. However, there's a lot of people out there that still need that. So Haga, if you ever come across this, you might want to make a little bit more or make them, you know, uh, drop ship or whatever, you know, buy and then wait time or something like that. Cause there's a lot of people out there. Um, since this video, there's been a lot of issues with the Jackal, with the charging sled. The sled was breaking on people. It was ripping this part. Like if you take it out, I probably have a picture or two I could show. They actually broke and PSA has already been on top of it. All newer models are shipping out with a thicker sled. And if you have the old sled and it breaks on you, you can call or hit them up, email them and easily get that changed out. But also I went ahead and contacted them with my other sled, not even have broken. And then said, hey, can I just go ahead and get it so I can go ahead and just be proactive? And they sent it out to me ahead of time being proactive. So if you have a PS Jack PSA Jackal, and yours isn't broke, you can go ahead and order one now so that it doesn't have the effect later. It's some slightly different thickness of the metal. The charging handle, in my opinion, I hate a little bit, is a little bit more loose, but I'm pretty sure down the road, there'll be some like type of things you could put on there to make it a little bit thicker, which I'm looking forward to as well. Um, this is a Strike injury, uh, Industries also hand stop. I've thought about putting the forward grip on there now that I have, you know, like a little stubby or something, but I really just like the overall feel of this. And it's this because it's a, you know, a, um, a SBR now, I don't need to make it be nothing. The, st the stock is enough. I don't think I really care too much about a front grip. Now, um, the coat, Sierra coat, or whatever you want to call it, of this gun, people have been asking. On the website, it says FDE, right? I'm going to go ahead and tell you that, in my opinion at least, I think this is more of a Coyote Brown because this is FDE right here. This mag, when I bought it recently, was uh, stated to be Coyote Brown. It's kind of darker than th this is darker than this but it's not dark and matching this perfectly and then this it's just they're all a little slightly different shades now i like this look a lot with this mag 
I've been running, and I want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinion. Empty. I've been running black, you know, mags as well, and I like it because it just pops. But let me know, like, do y'all think this looks better? The black mag or the all browned out effect? People have been calling this the baby scar, but it's also like a baby uh, ACR, no pun intended. But man, this thing is, uh, it's ready to go, man. It is ready to go. <sighs> Extremely happy with it. Yeah, I can finally say like, this is one of my first completed, like fully completed. I don't think I really want to add anything else to this gun. I mean, yeah, I can change out um, the light down the road, maybe even add like a, a different trigger, a better trigger. I can do stuff like that. But right now I'm very content with how it came out. I remember when, you know, when I first had this gun or before I even got the gun, I had made a little mock-up of how I wanted it to look and it looks just like it, but not, but even better now. So hopefully the oppressor works out well with this 10.5 inch barrel and I will keep you guys updated and um, we'll go, definitely go from there. If you have any questions, try, you know, feel free to ask. But as far as these parts, everybody's been asking about this. I don't even know the answers at this point because they're, they've been discontinued at this point. Like, so, um, is this, I'm trying to, it's, it's so tight. I have to mess with this a little bit later. But I wanted to get this out to y'all as soon as possible. It's a great shooter. Um, you can check out other videos I've done with it. And it's, it's, I'm looking at it on the screen and this, it looks good, bro. It looks good. It, the color looks fabulous this this is a this is a bad boy right here but i'm gonna take it out we're gonna see how the lpvo works out i'm gonna get it zeroed in i've been practicing that's the best thing i can do and i'm gonna do more of that man and you know go from there but took it there got sbr got it engraved got my stamp all the above i'm official first time you know first one how many more i don't know you know but i definitely wanted to get this one done that way so the only thing now i need i think is a sling that's about it. But let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. If you have any comments, any questions, any uh, advice, let me know. This is the PSA Jackal, the Baby Scar, fully SBR'd. I'm out. Peace.